I'll wash my hands in the area. Basically first, we grab a bit of soap from the automatic soap dispenser. Turn on the tap of the elbow. Wash from the wrist, making sure you don't have any R bands or anything like that that can potentially contaminate. From the palms, getting everything. A bit of water, wash it around. Between the fingers, both hands, webbings. And just gradually making your way down onto the tips of the fingers. And you sure you get all the points that are usually neglected. And then you rinse for at least 20 seconds. Just cleaning again, the same areas, the webbings, the tips, under the nails, etc. Turn off with the elbow there. Just sort of drip dry there. Grab one towel and dry from the tips. Yeah. You go. Um, down to the wrists. Place that in the bin. Grab another one. Making sure you grab the top of the uh, paper towels as well so you don't potentially contaminate any of the others. You just dry from, again, the tips through the webbings, thumb, palms, down to the wrists, and in the bin. And, yeah. I'm going to show you my setup and pull down. And I'll uh, start basically, I've uh, washed and dried my hands, the sink here, and I've gloved up first. Um, all my equipment has been pre-bagged and uh, gathered into an area on paper towel here. And uh, basically, we've got the blue heat station, which is the um, center point or my station of where I'm going to be tattooing from. So, um, first I get Vaseline container, place it on the paper towel area. I open it. <laughs> Applicating stick. I get a little bit of Vas off the stick. Bring it straight over to the station here, and I'll leave the applicating stick there. I now put the vas. I'll leave it on the paper towel area. I bring all the gathered and bagged items over to the station. I now check the sterility of the uh, tips. I've got a disposable tip and a needle. I check there's no holes, everything's all sweet and uh, packaged. And I also check the dates to make sure that they are in, um, in date. And this one is 2014 and Jane 2014. <clears throat> so then I will take them out. Slowly. Place them and then bin the uh, stuff. Take out the needle. But I'll leave that in there for now so the needle's not clicking anything. I grab the machine here. I'll attach. This in. Place it back on the paper towel area. Grab the needle out, discard a piece of grommet in, which is a uh, holds it into the machine. Feed it down carefully so it's not poking anything else. the grommet on and there we've got the machine set up and uh, ready. What I'll then do is I'll bring that over to the Bluewood station so everything's set up there. Um, I will now begin to um, educate the client on the procedure. They'll be standing there and whatnot. I then grab a little bit of paper towel. There's only a select amount of paper towel in there as we've already um, 
pre-put that on there so we don't have to contaminate by putting the whole pack on there. And then we grab the dead Dettol and we begin to wash down the client, um, prepare the skin, place that back, discard the paper towel or whatever you use, and then um, our razor. We grab out here, fresh razor. Take the uh, the plastic off, and then grab some soapy water. Moist the skin, shave, etc. Leave the razor there in case we need it at the um, any time during the tattoo. Um, stencil stuff is bad, which we apply the stencil. Um, we'll apply the stencil, and then we have to wait for like a couple of minutes, and then we'll check it over there in the mirror. And then while they're doing that. I'll grab the clip cord, which is also pre bad and I'll begin to pretty much set up the machine. There you go. Clip cord bag. I'll show you how I pull down the uh, machine. Basically, first priority is shops. So we grab the machine, we will unscrew the timers, take away the sharps while the tip's still in there, so we're not poking anything. Place the machine back, sharps carefully handled and disposed of in the sharps container. Then I will begin to pull down the rest of the machine, taking out the disposable tip of grip there and placing it in the bin, which of course will go to an ace waste bin. Take the clip cord uh, as well as the machine. Um, do a brief wash now, grabbing some paper towel of the client while the um and dead oil is still bad. So that I'll get all the dirt off the ink off all the excess um, to make sure it's clean. Bring that back to the station, scarf the paper towel. While it's here, slide the bags off. Off the bottles. And place them back. on the paper towel surface, on the bay. <sighs> Wrap up station now, we've got your razor and your, the applicating stick and even the uh, paper towel as it could potentially be contaminated. Wrap that up. Place that there. At this point, I would change gloves, bend them and then grab another. Um, pair of gloves, but for the purposes of this video, and the amount of gloves, we'll just keep them on. Um, and then I would wrap the client up, um, already clean them, wrap them up, apply the dressing, etc. Place that standing up, at which point, reach over here, grab the bar clean, spray down the chair, I might share the station as well, making sure, and other areas with clean paper towel here, wiping that down, wiping that down, discard. Um, then I would come over here and grab a card for them, which has the tattoo uh, place name and also has the aftercare. Um, instructions, some educating them on aftercare, etc. Um, after that's all done, um, basically with the clean gloves, place the Vaseline back over here, um, discard the paper towels, the uh, board bag as well, and um, the detergent in this bottle is replaced, um, etc. That's after they've left and everything's done. Probably 
explained how to um, sterilize the items that you use during the tattoo, um, such as tips and grips. Basically, after the tattoo is done, um, you have a cup of demineralized water, which you'll place the tips uh, in. Uh, the needle is obviously going in the sharps container. Um, basically, you go to the autoclave room, set up at the sink, you take the tips out of the cup of water, um, you wash the tips with the detergent um, and the water, with also a brush and keys with the uh, uh, heads on the end, the brush heads on the end, the keys, different sizes. Um, you'll place them in the ultrasonic machine for five minutes, press the go button, uh, wait for it to finish, um, at which point you will take the items out of the ultrasonic machine onto a uh, paper, uh, paper towel surface. Laminated pouches, you grab them out, you bag them up, gloves are on the whole time of course. Um, you will then bag them, make sure that they're properly bagged, no holes, no nothing, you know, everything's sweet. You will then place them accordingly, uh, rack them onto the tray for the autoclub machine um, properly, so stack properly, and then you will place in the autoclub machine, wait for the cycle to finish. Um, after that, you check the docket, check all the parameters, uh, temperature, etc., make sure everything was sweet. Take, uh, open the auto autoclave. Wait for the countdown after all of its um, uh, been counted down on that machine. It should tell you when to take out the um, equipment, um, at which point you will place them on a tray with a paper towel and then restack them, take them over and restack them into your drawers and say sterilize.